Archaeologists find oldest home in human history, dating to two million years ago Wonderwork Cave in South Africa also houses the first known fire use, and another collection of useless crystals, but this one is half a million years old. Wonderwork Cave, which stretches back 140 meters today but 150 meters two million years ago, or if a realtor is describing archaeologists have found the oldest home in Harman and history. Unsurprisingly, it is a cave, Wonderwork Cave in the Kalahari Desert. Astonishingly, it has been occupied more or less continuously for two million years. Through most of that time, modern humans didn't even exist. The archaeologists have also demonstrated the earliest ever use of fire, a million years ago, and of symbolic thinking half a million years ago in Wonderwork Cave, report Ron Shah, Ari Matman, Leora Kolska Horwitz, Yael Ebert and Michael Charzen in Quaternary Science Reviews. Among the signs of advanced cognitive ability, the archaeologists believe they have found indications that ochre may have been used there 500,000 to 300,000 years ago, hundreds of thousands of years earlier than thought. Two million years ago, our ancestors were still small-brained but were definitely bipedal. We don't know when our ancestors left the trees and began to stride the earth upright, but we seem to have begun to trade arborealism for bipedalism during our Australopithecine phase. That began about four million years ago. The point at which we discovered the virtues of shelter is even murkier. In fact, the purpose of the latest team, led by the geologists Shah and Matman, had been to validate the postulated two million year old timeline of the cave, and now that's been done. Wonderwork isn't one of the caves supporting the idea that our Middle Stone Age ancestors were obsessed with the sea, as shown at other sites clustered on South Africa's coast. It's inland, near the town Daniel Skull in the chalky rocks of the Kuraman Hills and over 700 kilometers, 435 miles from the nearest beach. Horwitz points out that the thinking in archaeological circles had been that in the Middle Stone Age, the interior was arid and hominins clung to the coasts. But Wonderwork clearly shows human activity in the cave 240,000 years ago, showing that the interior wasn't that dry. That said, it isn't actually 100% clear which archaic humans lived in that cave. Not one smidgen of a single human bone, not one single tooth, has ever been found there in the near century of the cave's excavation, Horwitz tells Haaretz. That may be because in contrast to, say, the Dead Sea Scrolls caves, this one is on ground level. You don't have to climb down from a cliff top to get there. Nobody went inside by accident, nor is it some out-of-the-way place to hide a body or two. Proto-hyenas on the other hand could get in easily. The earliest excavators drove in and parked in the front of the cave, Horwitz says. But for two million years, the hominins clearly used the cave and used tools there and dined there. This is the earliest known use of tools beneath a roof, rather than in the open air, the archaeologists explain. Walking the walk for all the recent discoveries regarding human evolution, much of our truly ancient history remains shrouded in murk. There were myriad types of archaic harmonin in Africa and later in Eurasia as well. There seems to have been a lot of mixing. And we don't know who our direct ancestors were, though we can make learned guesses. We recently learned that the early Australopiths living 3.6 million years ago had human-like feet on which they could stride. We also know they did walk upright, as we find from fossil trails. But they also had ape-like shoulders, indicating they had not abandoned the arboreal way of life they could theoretically swing branch to branch, and Australopithecine kiddies may even have retained primitive foot structure until maturity, enabling them to escape ground-bound predators by lurking in trees. We also know that hominins were starting to make crude stone tools at least 3.3 million years ago, so the tools found in the Wonderwork cave are not the earliest known. But they are the earliest known to be found in the context of the cave life, Shah explains to Haaretz. It is from his resampling of the cave that the validation of the dates is based. The goal of the paper in Quaternary Science Reviews is actually to revisit the dating of Wonderwork Cave, a deep cavern running 140 meters to its end. A rarity in that part of the Kalahari, the cave was discovered by farmers in the 1940s and has been under excavation more or less since then. In 2008, archaeologists Professor Michael Charzen of the University of Toronto and Horwitz reported it as the earliest evidence of cave-dwelling hominins. At the time, they thought all this dated to some two million years, others thought that nonsense. Now the dating has been validated.
At the time, they deduced that the oldest stone tools had been made and deposited in the cave by the hominins, as opposed to being washed in by flooding. That opinion has not changed, Shah tells Haaretz, who actually lived there. There were multiple hominids in southern Africa at the time. Jarzan and the team in 2008 surmised that the most likely tool maker was Homo habilis. Horwitz today is more cautious. Many options and absolutely no clue in the cave, she says. She points out that around 2 million years South Africa was home to at least two types of Australopithecines, 2.3 million to 1.5 million years ago, and also early Homo. Says Horwitz, we are placing a sure bet on early Homo, since we are not very adventurous gamblers. The hypothesis of the baked harmonin just this year we learned that somebody in the Kalahari was collecting useless junk 105,000 years ago, namely, crystals. They couldn't have originated in the cave where they were found and nobody today could think what use they might have had. That was touted as the oldest collection of non-utile, non-functional stuff in the world, and hence to indicate symbolic thinking. But somebody else in the Kalahari was collecting useless junk 500,000 to 300,000 years ago, Horwitz tells Haaretz. That was the oldest collection of non-utile, non-functional stuff in the world. She and Charzan wrote up the crystals in 2009 in World Archaeology. In that paper, Horwitz and Charzan also address the properties of the depths of Wonderwork Cave. Why on earth would early hominins go that deep anyway, given that it would be pitch black? One possibility they suggest is that precisely because it was dark, the hominins could hide from predators there. Thank you for watching.